Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. A moment of clarity here. Ten days so far in South Africa has completely distracted me from developing my normally cutting-edge ideas about getting clear and living a happier life. On our bucket list for years, truth be told, this trip was designed to do just that, distract. Cape Town, the southernmost harbor town of South Africa. Stellenbosch, the Napa Valley of the Southern Hemisphere, and the Blue Train, the Orient Express of the African continent, have taken up the first half of this indulgence. But now to the core. We're in the Thorny Bush Private Game Reserve at a place called the Jackalberry Lodge. These are both places I'm pretty sure most of you have never heard of. In fact, I know I hadn't either. Every morning at 5.30, we're up and out to catch elephant, impala, zebra, kudo, giraffe, even lions settling in after a long night of survival, whether that means being the hunter or the hunted. The closeness with the creatures here is a little unnerving. As heretofore, this kind of interaction, for me anyway, has been confined to zoos and big glass walls. No such thing here. Six to seven feet from a suspicious male elephant, or ten from a dozen lions, working their way from sunny rest in the morning to a shady one as the temperature begins to climb to 32 degrees Celsius. The quiet is immediately noticeable, certainly to one from the hubbub of a U.S. small city suburb. By 9 a.m., aviary enthusiasm is given away to resting before the predator-prey cycle starts again. Nature works it out here. Some of these beautiful creatures get to greet the sun the next morning. And some have been well fed overnight. Again at 3.30, we're off to watch nature's magnificent creatures awaken and prepare for another night of predator-prey dance. I'm most struck by our guides, actually a licensed ranger, ability to weave his safari-customized Toyota Land Cruiser through the bush and find any number of photo ops. Actually, at any given point in time, dozens of these guys from dozens of lodges in the area are out and about. They share this information by radio and game and location, so it's well orchestrated to give the customer the best outcome. So maybe this is a video about bucket lists. If you don't have one, Building one can be fun and inspiring. It can be developing a why you go to work every day. It can be a reward for just getting to the point where finally pulling the trigger is even possible. I don't want to belabor the point, but this is a trip of a lifetime. Not one minute of it has been a disappointment. I don't want this to be your bucket list item. I want you to develop those. But if this does get in that bucket, I assure you, you will never, ever forget it. It's Kim, and this isn't necessarily a moment of clarity, but I'll be back next month.